That is it right there, dude. Oh, oh my god, it's crushed. Look at that. It's getting off. Oh, oh my god. About 5,000 motorcyclists die every year in the United States. And about 30% of those people were speeding. Today I'm going to take you to the spot where I last saw my friend before he decided he was going to speed home on his motorcycle. It's Motorcycle Awareness Month. Welcome back to Adobe Moto. I get it. We all speed. <laughs> I've done it a bunch of times. You can go back and watch some of my YouTube videos. And yes, it's just something that we do. Now, I personally carry full coverage insurance every time I ride. I try to make sure that my bike is up to date on the registration. Because one, I don't want anything not covered on my motorcycle. If I lay it down, I want to get paid. Let me ask you this. How many of you actually carry life insurance? Life insurance is extremely important, especially if you ride a motorcycle. And especially if you have a family. I'm a dad. I got two kids. I want them to be fully taken care of in case anything happens to me while I'm riding one of these. Now even though about 5,000 of us die every year in the U.S. riding one of these, about 1,500 of those are related to speeding. I just saw a post the other day on Facebook about some kid, he was like 19 years old, and he died on his s 1000 R. It's crazy to me. 19 years old. I don't know who the kid is, but one of the first responders messaged me and told me they loved what I'm doing, you know, trying to promote safety and, you know, I, I'm not like against you guys having fun. And apparently in Washington state, they have like a no chase policy or something like that. And for me, whenever I do speed, if a cop ever tries to light me up, I've always had one rule for myself. Just slow down and pull over. I can afford a ticket. I'd rather take the ticket over losing my life if I were to run. I believe that that policy is in place to protect the rider. I don't think any cop wants to pursue you and cause you to die. That'd be messed up. But at the same time, What's the point of freaking running, dude? I'll tell you the story of one time I got a 150 mile an hour ticket in a 50 mile an hour zone. It's this section in Nevada where I, where I grew up. <laughs> That's where I learned to ride motorcycles. And they call it like the McCarran Loop. And I remember taking like three or four of my buddies up there and then we were just flying, man. I was in front and there was a light and it, it was green, but I just zoomed right past it, 150. And then in my rear view mirror, I saw <laughs> the red and blue. They were way the hell back there. I could have easily ran and it wouldn't have been a problem but there was a new guy with us my buddy shang and again at that time i think my r6 that i had bought it wasn't insured or registered <laughs> what happened was i went to the dealer i paid cash for the bike uh, my buddy gave me a really really good deal on an 09 r6 and i told him i'd do the licensing on my own and obviously i'd put insurance on it but of course i didn't for like a couple weeks <laughs> Anyway, I decided I'm gonna pull over because I don't want Shang to try to run because I don't want to be the cause of this guy crashing or worse. We all pulled over, we sat there and waited for the cops to come. <laughs> they were like BMW cops and again, like sometimes you can't outrun those cops, but yo, we were flying dude, at least I was. I was way the hell up there. They pull up, license and registration. <laughs> do you know you were doing 150? I said, yes, I do. I do it all the time. This is my road. Not very many cross streets. I'm surprised you guys were there. And they were like, well, we were just sitting at the red light. <laughs> and then you guys just zoom past us. Anyway, he's like, do you have registration on this bike? I'm like, nope, no insurance. Nope. I was like, I just bought it. But I mean, you know, and then I explained my situation and they're like, well, listen, we appreciate you pulling over and stopping. We're going to give you a ticket, go to court. We'll put in a good word for you guys. And hopefully the judge will be lenient. They let us go. They let me go with no registration and no insurance, bro. Anyway, we get to the courthouse. The bailiff is like, does anybody want to go and talk to the DA? No. <laughs> I had been in trouble previously, and I don't know. I guess the DA knows who I am. But <laughs> I know, and I said, hell yeah. My friends were like, nah, we're just going to pay the $500 fine and take our reckless driving ticket. And I was like, no, fuck that. So I got up, I started walking away and I guess the bailiff was like, are you guys sure you wanna, you don't wanna fight it? And then they got up and came with me. We walked into the DA's office. He was like, you again? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, it's me again. Pulls up our file. He's like, what were you doing doing 150 on a 50 on a motorcycle? And I was like, man, just being young and dumb. Anyway, he's like, I'm gonna cut you a deal. Seatbelt and 300 bucks. 
I was like, a seatbelt ticket? He's like, yeah, I won't go on your record. The cops that pulled you over put in a good word. They said you're really respectful and you stop. And plus, I already know you're a good kid. I've seen you here once before. Just go up to the judge and plead guilty. <laughs> I was like, bet. Anyway, we got up there. The judge was like, what the hell were you guys thinking? I just told him, I said, judge, we were just having fun. The judge wasn't happy about the seatbelt ticket. But we had already cut a deal with the DA. Anyway, no points. Case closed. We paid 300 bucks each. And that was the end of that, <laughs> man. Now, I still did a lot of stupid shit after that. But I'm getting older now. I'm 35. I don't know if it's because I don't have as much testosterone running through my veins as I used to. Or if I just value my life more because I have kids. But the truth is, there's no reason to be going around doing smackdowns racing around with your buddies on the streets on one of these things it's just stupid and pointless but are people still gonna do it yeah and influencers like me <laughs> we don't help man those are the kinds of videos that get views but it's very very risky to the writers as well as the audience that's watching for me personally i would rather hear somebody say i got a full suit and i'm riding in the streets full suit because of your videos over oh i got an s1000 double r or an aprilia rsv4 because of your videos i'm trying to get a track day in this <sighs> few track days in this summer at least we'll see man a lot of my friends who ride bikes are fucking broke <laughs> They don't want to spend three, four hundred dollars for a track day. I totally get that, man. We're, just, we're living in an uncertain economy. There's a certain level of maturity that you have to have to survive riding motorcycles. I once did a wine walk and rode my bike home, and I couldn't remember how I got home. In Reno, they have these things called wine walks. It's similar to like a bar crawl, except it's wine. You pay for the glass, and then you walk around to all these businesses, and then they give you, you know, a glass of wine. <laughs> and some of them are very generous with their pores. It's not meant to get you like jacked up. But you get jacked up. <laughs> Wine is very, very strong. I think that was one of the last times I ever did that. That's gotta be the worst thing you could do while riding a motorcycle is drinking and riding. I'm telling you guys these stories so you don't do what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be an idiot like me. There's a lot of new young riders out there, especially on my TikTok account. A lot of y'all are commenting, yo, I'm getting my first bike because of you. I'm so excited. And as a business owner, I have a social responsibility to my consumers. I have to do right by you guys. Ethics will play a big role in any business. And having good business ethics will keep you in business for a lot longer. I had some old buddies hit me up on facebook and they were like yo we should do some like smackdown races again like we used to <sighs> and i'm just like man i don't even know how well that's gonna play with my audience and two i don't know if i want to risk it anymore man i'm like yo you guys down to go to the track instead i'll go drag race at the track and you guys can kick my ass all day long but smackdowns on the fucking streets people like 650 eve have made fucking bank by promoting that garbage <sighs> I don't know, man. It's not my thing anymore. All right, we're here. There was a two-wheel Tuesday happening. My buddy wanted to buy a jacket from me, and I lived, like, down the road that way. So I actually drove my Prius here, and he was like, why didn't you ride? I'm like, well, I only live down the hill, bro. I'm not going to ride my bike, pull it out, gear up. Anyway, he tried the jacket on, and I was like, yo, there's a ride tomorrow that's happening. Are you going? He's like, fuck yeah, let's meet up. I was like, cool. Hit me up when you get home. Let me know what time you want to meet up and where. And I was like, all right, dude, ride safe. Like, I always tell my homies i got home that night i kept checking my phone i didn't get a text i figured he would text me by the time he got home i was tired i went to bed i woke up the next morning still no text and i'm like what the hell man i texted him no response so i was gonna message him on facebook or like comment on one of his pictures i got on the facebook and all i saw was rest in peace seven miles from this location it's about a nine minute drive the news tribune said he was doing over 100 miles an hour and i never really got the full story but i heard from some of the people he was riding with that they actually didn't see it happen he was way ahead of everybody else it happens just like that man all right, now we're gonna go to the spot where he actually died. <laughs> I laugh about it now, just like, God, man. A lot of this is stupidity, okay? Just don't be freaking stupid. It's not worth it. It's just, none of this bullshit is freaking worth it, man. I'm telling you. This was my buddy's actual last ride. He's a younger kid, he was in the military. He was riding a 2009 Jigster 1000. Awesome motorcycle. Funny enough, I actually saw that bike for sale. Somebody had bought it from an insurance auction and then they were trying to flip it 
and I messaged the dude and I was like, hey man, that's uh, I would love to get that bike from you. I knew the owner, told him the story and I didn't end up getting the bike. What a waste of a life, man. There it is right there, Narrows Bridge. This is uh, shit, I mean, at least it was a beautiful view, man. This is where it happened. It's insane. It's insane, dude. I really want y'all to be careful out there this season. Every year, I just keep hearing and hearing and hearing people dying, riding motorcycles, and it's all because they're speeding. Crazy, dude. It's crazy. It shouldn't be that way. There's no reason to speed on the streets, especially around traffic, right? Man, if you're gonna do it, just make sure the roads are clear, man. Wild, dude. Just, just freaking wild, man. Okay, so I'm a bit of an idiot. I, uh, I dropped the camera. My DJI fell out of my pocket. Ugh, I'm not ready to lose that. I think I know where it fell. I felt it. It's on the freeway, though. Ah, uh, that's the hard part. That is the hard part. So we're gonna go back and <laughs> try to find it. Man! Man! I do have DJI Care, but I don't know if that covers the Lost. Plus, I had a ton of footage in there. <laughs> Dang it! Luckily, my GoPro was recording when I was recording the parts with the DJI. But we'll see. Hopefully, I can find it. Alright, stay cool. Stay cool. We're gonna get it. I just dropped it. Literally just dropped it. It's on the highway. I know it is. Hopefully, it didn't get run over. Either way, I got I got coverage. Uh, I want to recover that footage if it's... Oh my god, dude! I'm so mad right now. <laughs> I'm mad and it's kind of funny and kind of idiotic. I didn't close my zipper on my my jacket pocket and it just, I felt something and I was like, what the hell? Did somebody just touch me? <laughs> yeah, it's over here. It'll be here somewhere. I'm going to have to ride really, really slow. God, I hope I find it. It was like around here somewhere that it fell. Is that it? Nope. Looking for something here. It fell here, dude. I felt it. I felt it fall out right here somewhere. I'm gonna keep looking. I gotta look on both sides. If it did, I fell over there. I'm gonna be freaking ticked off. I hate riding in the shoulder because there's a lot of nails and shit, but it fell around here somewhere. I hope it got kicked to the side. I felt it come out around here. Either somebody grabbed it or I lost it somewhere else. Wait, is that it? No. Oh. My God. Is that it? That is it. Holy shit. That is it right there, dude. Oh, oh my God. It's crushed. Look at that. Oh my God, dude. It's getting nailed, bro. Oh my God, dude, look. That's my DJI. Holy shit, it's getting, oh, oh my God. Dude, oh, and the SD, oh no. No, okay, I think we can save this. Holy shit. Oh my God. Look at this thing's destroyed, bro. I'm gonna put that back. Oh, no, maybe I should take that out. My goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> Look, there's my battery. Holy cannoli. Look at this. <laughs> Hopefully I can save this footage. There's like part of the SD card left. I don't think so, man. That is gnarly, dude. If if there's footage on this, I'm gonna be surprised, man. <laughs> Holy cow. That straight came out of my pocket, bro. <laughs> my god. Yeah, well, DJI. I got the uh <laughs> whew. I'm glad I got the care plan, plan or whatever the hell it is. Golly, gee whiz. Always get insurance, man. Whether that's motorcycle insurance, life insurance, or insurance for your gear, dude. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. This is going to be... 
This is gonna be interesting. I'll let you guys know what happens with DJI. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe I found it. Straight got ran over too. There it is. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Alright, we're gonna put this in here and see what happens. Okay, I think that's all the way in. There you go, you, you can't even see that, but that's, that's all the way in there. Yeah, I definitely lost the footage.